In this video, I'll show you how to rig and animate this simple chair in Blender so that you get this animation. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. We're going to start off by pressing number 1 for front view, and then select this uh, cylinder, cursor to selected, and then press Shift A, and then add the armature. Then press Tab for edit mode, then press G to grab the end of the bone. And then we're going to extrude, so press E to extrude. And then we need to add it for the other side as well. So press E to extrude. And then we can connect these two bones, so hold and shift, and then press F to fill. Okay, so now we have the bones, so press Ctrl S to save. Next, we need to add some empties to control the armature. So press Shift S and move the cursor to the bottom of the armature. Then add a cube empty. Then press S to scale it down. And then next, we can duplicate the empty. So Shift D to duplicate and then set to move it on the z-axis. And then add it to the top of the armature right in the middle of the hole and then press shift D again and then S and shift Z to scale it only on the X and Y axis and now we have the empties that we need for this animation and then next select the armature save one more time and then we can go in to pose mode to set up all of the inverse kinematic settings and we're going to start off by adding some inverse kinematics in the bone constraints to the two lower bones. So add inverse kinematics. And then the target is going to be the uh, first empty, which is at the bottom. And then set the chain length to two because we have two bones for each side. And then for the uh, second bone, we need to add the uh, first empty once again, and then set the chain length to two. And then let's save one more time before we continue. So uh, press Ctrl Shift S and create a new save in case something crashes. And then we select the uh, top right bone and then track to. And then we're going to track to the second empty. And that enables us to uh, connect the armature to the top of the chair as well. Okay, and track two, up is the set axis, of course, in this case, and then the second empty. And then when we go to object mode, we can still see that the empty does not control the armature. And we can fix this by selecting the armature, holding shift and select the empty, and then control P and set it parent to the empty. And when you press G, then set, you can see that we now control the armature with the empty. So basically the inverse kinematics makes it bend and then the track 2 makes us able to control it with the empty. And then we're going to set the empty parent to the third empty. And then parent the seat of the chair to the third empty as well. And then next we need to select the armature and set the legs of the chair parent to the bones. And we do that by uh, going into the list of objects and then select the parts and set it parent to the closest bone. And then set parent to bone. And then we can do the same for the rest of the leg parts. So control P, hold and shift, control P, and then for the last bone as well. Okay, let's say one more time that we can go back to object mode. And then when you select the top empty, you can see that we can now control the chair. We also have to make sure that the uh, cylinders are set parent to, to the uh, legs as well. So hold and shift and then press control P. Set parent to, and then set parent to object. And then do the same for the rest of the cylinders. 
we have one left. Okay. Save one more time. And this is just a very simple example of how you can uh, rig simple objects in Blender and make some cool animations. And most of the job is just to experiment with the inverse kinematics in Track 2 and you will be able to make some cool rigging animations. You can also limit the location so that it only goes up and down on the uh, set axis, for example. And then if you want to animate, you can just press I to keyframe the location. And then I again in the new location and you have an animation.